Mark of Never Metal Guns and Outdoors. Today, uh, I'm going to demonstrate why you need to be safe, especially with your handguns or, well, your long gun, shotguns, whatever, and keeping your hands or any part of your body away from the muzzle on your single shots and your semi autos and stuff like that, and also on your revolvers. Keep your hands away from the muzzle and the cylinder itself. Uh, what I got, took this little, uh, you see this is hollow through the middle, and I just wrapped this paper towel around it. And that's going to show us what a handgun will do as far as the pressure coming out of the side that we don't see and hopefully that would never feel with one of our hands. Uh, I'm going to do a semi-auto today. We're going to be using my uh, Remington RP45. We'll be shooting a uh, full metal jacket and a hollow point and we'll be shooting these same two shells in our revolver, the 1917 Smith uh, 45 ACP and this will give us some uh, some good test results on these two uh, pistols and revolver. And I'll change this out on every shot and be able to show y'all actually what happens if you did get your hand in the wrong area. Alright, got my ears on. First up, full metal jacket out of the semi-auto. Wow. So yeah, that just blowed that thing away, didn't it? And also had some damage to the other side. Alright, let's change this out. Alright, now for a hollow point. Take this off here, there's only one clip holding it. You see what it done to the first side. Just shredded it. And still got some of that back side. So you definitely, definitely don't want your hands in front of that muzzle. Alright, let's get set up for the revolver. Alright, we've got a revolver. We're going to set up for it. First, we have a full metal jacket. And the thing about a revolver, too, right here, you're going to be getting some pressures coming out of there, as well as the end of the muzzle. So let's see what happens on this one. As you can see, you would not want to be at the muzzle. Blasted a pretty good hole in there. But that's from the cylinder. Popped that pretty good. Uh, did not get to the other side, but if your hand would have been there, it definitely would have got your hand, that's for sure. Alright, well, since our other side's clean, we'll just flip it around. Back on 
All right, let's try our hollow point. It's got a little bit more pep in its step. Yeah, pretty much the same on the hollow point. Let's get this off here, it's easier for y'all to see. There was your muzzle blast, and that's coming out of your cylinder. Alright guys, hopefully that little video there give you a new respect for the pressures that are coming out, I mean, you don't see it, and a lot of times you probably just don't realize it. Uh, I was shooting uh, out here one day with a friend, and every time he shoot, he was doing this here. The finger's getting closer, closer. And I had to, I had to jump him several times. Well, not jump him, I wasn't being hateful. But I was just scared to death he's going to blow the end of his finger off. I mean, you've seen what it done to that paper towel. You know, be it a semi-auto at the muzzle, or like I say, especially on your revolvers. You know, you don't want to, you know, you want to get your revolver here. Basically, make sure every piece of skin or anything you think anything about is behind that cylinder. You know, ain't none of this going on. Now, you're going to lose a hand. There's going to be an emergency room visit involved, and we don't want that. Well, guys, hope y'all enjoyed that little video. Uh, hope you learned something. And for those y'all that didn't know, I hope it give you a new respect for firearms and the power that they really do have and the damage that they can cause if they're used improperly. And uh, please uh, leave any comments that you have. If you have any questions about this test or Anything else I can help with, please put it down there and I'll do my best to get at it. Uh, and any suggestions for future videos, we're always looking for something new to do. And for those of you that can, uh, hit us up on our Patreon page. And as always, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank y'all and have you a very wonderful and safe day.